Well, what's going on guys welcome back to another video it's going to be a quick one today i wanted to examine and take a look at the dlss4 multi-frame generation quality of the generated frames it's something that i've been genuinely curious about and digital foundry did a video looking at the rtx 5080 and multi-frame generation in a sort of preview type of video and in my opinion it's the best example that we have as of right now until these gpus come out and we can take a deeper dive which i'm actually very excited about because i've actually done similar examinations on my channel where we've examined the quality of dlss3 generated frames and also fsr3 for example this was my video where i compared the rtx 4090 with a 7900 xtx and we took a look at the quality of the generated frames for both technologies but unlike the regular frame generation where a generated frame is inserted between two real frames with multi-frame generation you can insert two or three generated frames between two real frames so there is the question of what's the quality like and what is the frame pacing like because that is very important right those generated frames are gonna have to show smooth motion basically going from point a to point b now, the way i did it on ghost of tsushima we were skipping frame by frame and taking a look at the generated frame and as you can see there is areas of trouble where the generated frames kind of fall apart a little bit and it's usually high moving speed uh, objects uh, in high contrast areas so in this example you have black boots against a white background and they are the fastest moving objects so digital foundry took a look at cyberpunk 2077 and they captured the footage like i did at 120 frames per second and slowed it down to 50 percent and that's what you're looking at here and there are some issues that do stand out if you haven't noticed already basically if you look at the pine leaves here you can see the generated frames have trouble creating smooth frames in those areas so there is trouble areas now this is what we're going to do if we go ahead and pause and you can use youtube's skip frame by frame uh, feature here so that we can take a look at the generated frames individually because we know that for each real frame there's three generated frames that follow behind it and again the concern is how do these generated frames portray the movement of the camera and all the objects on the screen and for the most part they do a pretty decent job right so for example we can use this area here as a reference point because it is the one where the algorithm has the most trouble so right now this looks pretty clean it's safe to say that this is a real frame now let's go ahead and skip one more frame and you can kind of begin to see that it's beginning to fall apart and then skip another frame begins to fall apart even more and then skip again and the same thing happens and then we end up with a real frame so that seems to be a trouble area and again it's fine lines in high contrast areas usually and you can also see it in this car here as well as we move frame by frame the lights are now detached as you come close to the end of the third generated frame so yeah this is a real frame and we skip one begins to break apart skip another now it's all blurry but all the other objects seem to be okay and then skip ahead again we still have more blur and then we skip one more time and we arrive at the next real frame so yeah i mean it's definitely some problem areas as you can see here and also if you look at these screens there's quite a bit of what looks like flickering but it's more like garbling of uh, of the assets and there's also other problem areas I, even here in this scene it's not that bad but as soon as he begins to pan the camera you can see the neon lights back here begin to flicker so there is some problem areas that the algorithm seems to have a bit of a trouble with and i'm hoping that nvidia can get on top of this because i can speak at least for myself i find stuff like this, this to be quite distracting that was actually one thing i really didn't like about fsr in general was that it had quite a bit of flicker Pay close attention to the branding quadra on the car and you'll begin to see how it like warps around because the algorithm is having trouble basically trying to place that logo where it needs to be and here we go this is a real frame here and we have three generated frames coming up so one 
here you go you be, you start to see that it's shifting and then next it becomes even worse and then the third it becomes even worse and then we end up on the real frame after that this gameplay that i've shown so far they're actually moving the camera up pretty slow what is it going to look like if you were to use a mouse and you're running around right doom eternal the dark ages is supposed to have uh, this technology support for it when it launches as well what is that going to look like because doom is a very fast paced uh, gameplay uh, first person shooter so i'm actually genuinely curious to see and um i mean you know nvidia does improve on their technologies they have a history of doing it but these are some uh, areas that i'm actually curious to see uh, what it looks like at launch because they did say that this was a preview driver as well and it wasn't complete so you know i'm sure we're going to take another look at this when it finally launches um, i mean hopefully i can get my hands on an rtx 5000 gpu and we can test it ourselves too and see how it compares to even something like lossless scaling for example but other than these problem areas though i think it does an overall pretty good job because it is bridging and pacing the frames properly i mean the motion looks to be pretty good so that is impressive i mean it's one thing to insert one <laughs> generated frame between two real ones and yeah you can find issues and problems and artifacting with any kind of generated frame but if it's small enough you don't see it and you just get the benefits of a smoother looking fluid gameplay but now that you're inserting three frames at the same time, those problem areas can end up just multiplying and being on screen for longer, and that can turn out to be a bit of a distraction. At least that's what I think. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about all this. And please give the video a like if you did like it, and consider subscribing for more content. I appreciate you all watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.